How did COVID-19 become the biggest health and economic crisis of our lifetimes? The answer needs only two words, Donald Trump. The virus, they're working hard. Looks like by April, you know, in theory, when it gets a little warmer, it miraculously goes away. I hope that's true. Donald Trump failed to prepare the United States for the dangers posed by infectious diseases. In every year that he has been president, Trump has tried to cut the budget of the Centers for Disease Control. He even tried to cut the CDC budget in February 2020, after COVID-19 had already appeared in the United States. Trump has ignored warnings from public health experts, and he has lied to the American people about what was coming. Everything is under control. I mean, they're very, very cool. They've done it. Everything's really under control. We've done a good job. In two, three, four weeks, by the time we next speak, I think we're going to be in very good shape. Almost 200,000 Americans have died of COVID-19, and tens of millions of Americans have lost their jobs. I think it's under control. I'll tell you what. How? A thousand Americans are dying a day. They are dying. That's true. And you ha it is what it is. And now, Donald Trump, the greatest con man of all time, is preparing to pull off his biggest con, pretending that he is saving our country from COVID-19. What do you say to Americans who are watching you right now who are scared? Uh, I say that you're a terrible reporter. That's what I say. Isn't it time for a real president?